It's our holiday uh, coming up. Do you have plans? Uh, mainly uh, Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies? My wife and I are throwing a party tomorrow night, and we spend all day today and most of tomorrow Christmas cookies. Are they the kind of Christmas cookies when, if as a guest to your party, people will see them and be impressed? Do you oh, put a look? That we, we're counting on that. Okay, gotcha. But I, I at the moment, I, I'm all cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. Gotcha. That's sort of, that's the era of your life you're living through. That's, those yes, those are your spices. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not a... Uh, this is, this is, uh, Roger Ailes not a Christmassy kind of guy. It's not a holiday film. Yes. Uh, it's opening during the holidays. <laughs> but do not mistake it for a holiday <laughs> film. Uh, this but, is but a, in Hollywood, you know, uh, Christmas is award season, so you, I guess it is. There you go. There, then that's, what is a better gift than an award? You are, uh, this says, uh, you're Roger Ailes. You play Roger Ailes in this film, and it takes place in 2015. Some of the things that were happening then were, uh, you sort of, Megyn Kelly, uh, questioning Donald Trump in a debate, Gretchen Carlson uh, filing a sexual harassment suit against the uh, network. And this is all sort of a precursor to the Me Too movement, which is That's obviously right. very close to it, but right before it. Um, it w was it interesting to sort of delve into, you know, this is a historical uh, piece, but it's sort of recent history. Very much so. And, and it, it just, it, it was an amazing feeling to, to be doing a film like this that is so much uh, at the center of everybody's consciousness these days. This really was a kind of origin story. Uh, when the Harvey Weinstein scandal came along, that's when the dam broke. Well, this was the hole in the dam. Yeah. It's just, uh, uh, and, and an incredible... Uh, Sir, uh, it, it was a, a period of only about three weeks when so much happened and Roger Ailes' life was just washed away. Uh, karma caught up with him. You, you say that karma caught up with him, and I think a lot of people would agree with you. Uh, no matter what you think, obviously this is a guy who built an empire, as, as referenced in that clip. Um, you know, but many people uh, would uh, have negative opinions of Roger Ailes when you play someone like that. Uh, do you have to find a way to be empathetic towards them, or can you play someone uh, hateful uh, and as an actor be hateful as well? Well, I've thought about that a lot over the years because I've played a lot of villains. Uh, I, I, always just, I always say I'm on the side of whatever character I'm playing. It's just a matter of uh, sort of plumbing the depths, trying to empathize, look inside, and what makes that person tick. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, exonerating or uh, Roger Ailes or building sympathy for him, but it is trying to kind of explain, uh, explain him, give yeah. a little uh, emotional authenticity to him. I mean, it seems to me that everyone, a, a villain like this, lives a life of shame. You know, he's, he carries this terrific guilty secret, and if you if you're if you're that ashamed, you're, you, surely there's levels of remorse and regret. That's kind of what I look for. I mean, it's just a, a kind of conflict inside the character. And for someone who, you know, built a television empire, there's not a ton of, uh, was there a ton of tape for you to go on? Was there a lot to, you know, well, for the purposes of research? It was very hard. I found what I could, but Roger himself, I don't think he liked to be photographed. Otherwise, I could have found a lot more. I finally found his voice in a kind of uh, media symposium interview he did, uh, and was surprised. It was the first time I'd heard his voice. It was a very kind of buoyant and cheerful Midwestern accent, uh, very different from a villain's voice. Yeah, you know? it, 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 very good for you. Yeah, it was yeah. Just fine. You have me. a good buoyant voice. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he grew up in Warren, Ohio. I spent two years of my childhood in Akron, which is right nearby, so... Turns out we had that in common. That's amazing. You, uh, uh, there is a lot of, uh, you had a, you, was it your neighbor that knew him or you had a friend who used to be his neighbor? What was? No, not n neighbor. He, he, oh, I know my, yes. Yeah. Our, our mutual friends, Bonnie and Terry Turner. Oh yeah, of they're course. They're in Cold Spring. They, their property abutted Rogers. And Bonnie told me that one day in a, in a diner, she saw Roger Ailes eat an entire meat pizza. Wow. I never even heard the phrase meat pizza. Yeah, certainly. It seems like a special order, maybe. <laughs> yes. Yeah.